Bonjour et bienvenue. Hello and warm welcome to everyone. If you are a French language learner and also if you have an interest in watching films, then this video is definitely going for you. Films not only entertain us, it can improve our listening skills, it uplift our vocabulary, and any good film can enrich and enhance our cultural and uh, literary knowledge of the region where that language actually belongs to. Here we, um, here we are talking about France. And any good film can give you an, analytic, an analytical mind to compare and contrast two different pieces of art. It's a beauty of any good film. So in this video, apart with a brief description of each film, I will discuss these points in between. So let's begin with the iconic film of French cinema is Les Quatre Sons Coups. In English, it is titled as uh, 400 Blows. So it's a directorial debut of François Truffaut and it's the significant film of the French new wave cinema, the Nouvelle Vague. The English title of this film, 400 Blows, seems to be misplaced as the title 400 Blows doesn't go with the plot or the story of the film. Rather, the, the French title, uh, Le Quatre Sans Coup, seems to be uh, derived from the French phrase, Faire Le Quatre Sans, uh, Faire Le Quatre Sans Coup, which refers to, to be a real uh, tear away. In simple English, we can say, the, this phrase refers to young people who are rebellious in nature. So the story of this film uh, revolves around a young, uh, young like protagonist. Uh, he's a young boy or 12 year old who is quite rebellious in nature, who wants to explore the city of Paris through his own eyes. In that way, it's this phrase aptly justifies the film title rather than the English title 400 Blows. So let's move on to uh, so let's move on to the plot of the story. The story revolves around obviously uh, is revolved around a young boy, uh, young boy Antoine who is who is around 12 years old who is totally misunderstood by his school teachers by his parents who wants to explore the city of Paris, which means the Parisian life through his own eyes, who misses his school for a day, who escapes uh, from his home uh, twice. So such is, a, uh, such is a nature of this boy, but he's quite sensitive and mature for his age. So there is an iconic scene in the film when you can see this boy reading Balja. Who is Baljak? Baljak was a giant literary personality of France. He was the famous uh, author and a writer and means playwright. So if you are a curious language learner, what you will definitely do, you will pause at the scene and you will definitely try to Google it, who is Baljak? And if you have an interest in uh, reading in literature too, you will end up gaining lots of information and knowledge about this gigantic personality of France, of course the literary one. So this is the beauty of any good film, it will enhance you, enrich you literally and culturally of course. So here is the scene where the boy of 12 year old is seen reading Balja. He is reading one of the extract of his novel, La Recherche de l'Absolute. In English, the quest of the absolute. And, and interestingly, he uses this extract in one of his essays where, where ironically, his school teacher charges him for cheating, for like plagiarizing. So he, uh, so there is a scene where this boy is seen worshipping Balja. It's an iconic scene, I believe, of the whole film. But the tragic plot enters when you will see this boy, uh, this uh, boy is uh, like taken to the prison by his own stepfather uh, for the trivial act of theft. And there he 
This boy has to spend the entire night with the other prostitutes and thieves. Later on, he is being sent to the observation center for minors as advised by his own mother as she is unable to handle this child. And he escapes from there too as well. The similar, the similar trace of negligence of you can say neglected adolescence we can trace in his friend as well. The same life his, his uh, friend is also leading, seems to be leading. So you can say it's a responsibility of the society, of the parents and of the school teachers to, to shape their mind, to, to help growing adolescents in shaping their mind and ideas for the betterment of their future resulting in an endless society. To keep them in a, to keep them in a prison or in such an observation centers are not a solution, is not a solution at all. So it's the duty and, and the responsibility of the society and the school teachers and the parents to take care of such adolescent minds. And what I really feel the deep and sonorous music of this film truly highlights the intensity of the film or you can say the intensity of the theme of the plot. This film still ranks one of the best films of French cinema. If you haven't watched this film, do watch this film. The role of this boy Antoine uh, has been played by now the veteran actor Jean-Pierre Leo. The acting of this young boy, now he's a veteran actor, but at the time, of course, he was a young boy. The acting is superb. It's superb. So do watch that movie if you have an interest in watching uh, films. Now move on to the crime drama L'Argent. L'Argent, in English, it is titled as Money. It's a crime drama uh, Directed by Robert Bresson is the last film of this of the director, loosely inspired by the first part of Leo Tolstoy novella, The Forged Coupon. The Forged Coupon. The story revolves around a fake 500 franc note which, uh, which passes from one unscrupulous person to another till it, uh, till it reaches to an honest delivery man and how his life takes a drastic turn with a chain of violent crimes. This, this film is totally based on that. Now, before moving further, I would like to add something. The importance of dialogues in a film. Here, which uh, means one of the dialogue of the film, which I want to highlight here. Dialogues play a crucial role in unfolding the theme or the central idea of the film. If you are focusing on each and every dialogue of the film, any good film, it will give you the central idea of the whole, the whole plot. And plus it will, it will help you in uplifting the vocabulary as well. The listening skills, the listening skills as well. If you are focusing on each and every dialogue with, uh, with the, you can say, with proper attention. Here the, uh, here the dialogue goes, a very important dialogue of the film. In English it is, an innocent man who hasn't killed anybody can be worse than a mass murderer. I have tried to written the French dialogue which is actually being spoken there, but though the screen is too short, so I can't write the whole dialogue, but the meaning which I have written in English is the same. So an innocent man who, who hasn't killed anybody can be worse than a mass murderer. This whole dialogue truly unfolds or reveals the central idea of the film that how an innocent man who hasn't done anything wrong can be so cruel, can be so like, like what you can say dishonest that if he is mishandled and misjudged by the society. He can, 
he can commit such a brutal crime so and as the as the plot progresses you will see the story becomes more bleak and tragic and as as uh, the crimes always lead to tragic circumstances okay so and it becomes more tragic if such crimes are committed by a person who is totally innocent who is misjudged by the society who is mishandled by the society so here it goes with the protagonist of the film so here what i i wanted to highlight is the the beauty of the dialogues if you focus on each and every dialogue of the film then not only it will uh, it will help you in understanding the film but also uh, if you focus on each and every dialogue then your listening ability will get improved if you are focusing on each and every dialogue each and every phrase and you will end up have uh, gaining lots of new phrases lots of new words for this i will suggest you to go with the english subtitles and there must be a sync between there must be a synchronization between what you are reading and what you are listening if you are beginner in that process definitely it will take time but if you watch two or three films in a week it's your regular habit then definitely within 6 or 7 months you will get desired result in terms of listening and in terms of vocabulary building for sure but for this at least a basic interest in watching films is required if you just if you watch film just for learning a language then i believe so it will not give you that kind of a benefit if you uh, like if you watch films just not for entertainment but for gaining something definitely you will you will gain something new after the end of each each good film which i believe it's my own personal experience so largo money it's the last film of robert bresso now we have talked much about very serious issues let's focus on the comedy comedy drama ladine the corn in english it is titled as the dinner game it is a 1998 comedy drama written and directed by francis bibel adapted from his play by the same name ladine the corn it's a brutal satire on the elite class who for his own leisure and pastime make fun of the middle class society the middle class people and the film is full of hilarious twists and turns uh, it's a uh, it's a satire but in a very comic way uh it's about a pierre brochon who is a wealthy publisher who along with a group of elite parisian attends a weekly dinner which held on each wednesday where idiots are invited where the other guests in the party ridicule and the champions trophy is given to the best of the idiot now there is a term for monsieur pierre he is a tax evader also to search for a uh, such an idiot and now uh now um, his search ends with, with monsieur pinio an employee in the finance ministry the role of monsieur pinio is played by jacques villeney extremely hilarious and amazing character of this film so uh, monsieur pinio has a hobby of making replicas of the landmarks like uh, notre dame like eiffel tower he thinks that he he has been called up by mr uh, by monsieur pierre to publish his book on such on his models though at the last moment the dinner is cancelled because monsieur pierre sprain his back while playing the golf now monsieur pinio has to has to spend the entire evening with monsieur pierre with several hilarious amazing 
twist and turns. You will definitely giggle hearing the voice note of, was, uh, of Masi Pino answering machine. Each gesture of this person, of, of this character is truly amazing, truly full of comic, hilarious. He is an innocent guy too. He comes to know in the end the real purpose for such invitation but still the films end on a funny note. Now I want to highlight one thing here. There is a wonderful remake of this film in Hindi called Bheja Prai. And I must say this is, this is one of the best films I have. I have ever seen and probably if I have to say about the remake, this is the best remake of any foreign film in Hindi I have ever seen so far. This is the best remake of any foreign film in Hindi especially. So if you haven't watched this film, please do watch this film. It's a worth watch. It's a worth watch film and uh, Mr. Bhushan of, of this film, Bheja Fry. Uh, Vinay Pathak truly steals the entire show, truly steals the entire show and here though this Hindi is a remake of this masterpiece, still you can compare and contrast these two films. In what way this, this Hindi remake has excelled in terms of creativity? For me it is, for me it is. But whether it, this Hindi film this remake Bheja Fry has retained that uh, like has given the respect to this masterpiece or not it's up to the viewers to decide for me yes it is and it in some scenes this Bheja Fry seems to excel in terms of creativity if we talk about this original masterpiece so in terms of acting of course and in terms of the handling of the plot in Hindi it's totally we can say really commendable. So, so I can't take each and every film in this video as a video will be too lengthy so hopefully I will come up with the second part of this video. Do share your feedback how you like this video whether you want to, to have the second part of this video. So if you think that the video is really helpful, so please do share it with French language learners and also with the people, with the viewers who have an interest in watching films. So hope to meet you in the second part of this video. Till then, take care. Au revoir.